Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a haul video and I have a mix of beauty items and clothes so I'm going to get on with it. It is a serum from Primark and this is one thing I would never think I would buy from Primark but I liked the look of it and it was it says £2.50 actually it was £3 the lady charged me um, but yeah anyway it's called PS Love to Glow and it's an instant radiant serum instant radiant glow and moisturising so I've just been using this sort of under my makeup as a primer and I wouldn't say it's glowing really I don't really know what I feel about it, it just I feel like there's nothing there um, but yes yeah, so I, I thought I'd give it a try anyway for £2.50 or £3 whatever they might charge you in your Primark who knows the next beauty item i have is these girls with attitude fantasy eyelashes and i had to buy these just because of the packaging and the names uh, most of them i have used so the ones that i have here they don't look great in the packet so these ones that i have here are called venus and look at the packaging it's amazing it's all like galaxy print and then at the side it has unicorns uh, so these ones look quite wispy with some wispy bits at the end the ones that I have on now, if you can see, these are called Princess and these are quite long and they flare out towards the end and they get a little bit longer so they're wispy ones as well. I do have, I did have some called Mermaid, um, those ones I don't know where they've gone. Uh, my favourite ones are called Unicorn and I have worn these quite a lot which you can probably tell but they've got quite a big spacing in between each one. And it makes it look like you've got individual lashes on and it just makes your lashes look amazing. And I got these off the Girls of Attitude website. I think they were about £5.50. So, you know, not too expensive for eyelashes. And I will definitely be repurchasing the Unicorn and Mermaid ones. Not Mermaid, Princess ones that I've got on. The last beauty product I have, so I actually don't have that many. I thought I had a few more than that, um, is a Kylie lipstick. And I do not own any of these. So to have one of these, I was like, yes, I finally got one. Um, I didn't actually get it off the Kylie website though. If you go on Depop, there is a lot of people selling um, Kylie lip kits on Depop. So I decided to bite the bullet and get one from there because I was sick of waiting for them to come back in stock on the website and plus you have to pay customs and shipping and all that and there is some quite good deals on Depop if you do find the right people I mean there is a lot of people that are selling them you know for like a ridiculous price but there is people who are selling them for a fair price so do you know have a search around on Depop if you are wanting to buy a lip kit I will also leave my Depop in the down bar if any of you want to follow please do so the one I went for is the air i think it's called it's h-e-i-r anyway um and it's the metal one so you don't actually get a lip liner included with this one but look at the packaging it's all metallic and nice and this is the metal matte lipstick so if i open this up this is what the packaging looks like and it's sort of like an orangey nude color with a shimmer in it but then it obviously dries matte as well so it's actually a lot more pigmented than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was more just going to be sort of a golden shimmer on your lips which if you look at Kylie's pictures that's kind of what it looks like on hers but once I bought it it is quite orangey and it's still not dry yet but it does have a really nice shimmer once it's on the lips and I definitely think it's worth it. I love it and I'd, you know, I'd buy another one so I'm really happy with my purchase from Depop so yeah, like I said, definitely give it a scan on Depop if you want in a Kylie lip kit and see if you can get one for a little bit of a bargain instead of paying all the customs and shipping and waiting for it to come from America. Uh, so yeah, it's a little bit easier for us in the UK. So now on to clothing. I recently joined the gym because I am so unfit and I want to have a nice body and bikini body when I'm on holiday later on in the year. Um, so I've joined the gym and I needed some gym clothes. So the first thing that I got was this top from Primark and I probably wouldn't have got this but it was a pound so I was like okay why not. So the back sort of joined together and it's like a racer back and it's just this tie dye effect and it says workout on the back of it i don't know if i've got it inside out yeah i think i've got it inside out yeah for i thought for a pound it's an absolute bargain it's that sort of stretchy material it's got a little bit of support in there and it's that slight material that you get when you kind of sweat a little bit and it soaks it up so like gym material um yeah it's a bit gross but yeah we're a pound from primark and i thought i'd just pick it up for a pound 
And sticking with the gym theme, I got these gym pants from New Look. Now, they didn't have any gym pants in my size in Primark or any decent ones. So I picked up these from New Look and they've got like a neon orange waistband and the grey and then at the bottom they've got this neon orange ankle sort of bit as well. So they're the stretchy material, gym material, the lycra that's the sort of material it is. And these were $17.99 from um, New Look. And it's not the cheapest, but they do have some nice designs in New Look and I think they'll last me a long time as well. I forgot, I do have another top from Primark actually. And they've got these in a few colours. I do have, my mum's bought me a yellow one for my birthday. I do know a lot of the stuff I've got for my birthday this year. Um, but I got this and it's sort of a pinky colour and it's got buttons all down the middle and then it's got these off the shoulder bits and straps and it just looks really pretty when it's on and I think with a pair of white jeans or something once you're on holiday it'll look really nice and I think they were eight pounds and they do them in a few different colours and patterns. Next thing I have is a bikini from Romwe and it is this one. So the top half is just a strapless top with sort of this fishnetty detail on and a zip down the middle and the bottoms are just plain orange bottoms with black lining on the inside to go with the top. Now, if you're going to buy this bikini, I do 100% recommend to get a size up. Now, I don't have the biggest boobs in the world, but this, I can't even get around my boobs. So, I definitely recommend to get a size up instead of getting your normal size, just because I don't think it will fit very well on the boobs. I think you can tell from here, it looks tiny. And my boobs are not big, so definitely definitely size up if you're thinking of getting this bikini. Another thing from Romwe, I got this body and I don't know how to show this on camera because it just looks weird. <laughs> but it's one of those multi-way ones so you can wear it you know in loads of different ways and this is the bottom so if I sort of give you an idea you could put these sort of straps let me put, so this is not going to go well but obviously you wouldn't have the black top underneath but you can sort of cross it round your neck as a halter neck top or you know you can put it on one sleeve and it all crosses over at the back and this is not working oh, like I've got a scarf. At some point instead of me struggling to try to show that on camera I will try to do an outfit post on my blog or put a picture on Instagram which will be much easier um, but the model on the website is wearing it so I'll link it down below if you do want to see what it looks like on you know before I post something as well. So the last items of clothing I have are all from the sh sh shame. same shop and they are from an online shop called wearall.com and also I just wanted to show you whilst the lipstick has dried matte now you can see how it would actually look like on and sort of the shimmer as well. That's got nothing to do with the clothes that I'm showing you now though. <laughs> right, onto the clothes. The first item that I have, and you may have seen this on my Instagram if you follow me on Instagram. If you don't, I'll leave the link down below, so please follow me. And it's this bodysuit, and it seems to have a mark on it. I think I might have to put it in the wash. I don't know what that is. So ignore the mark if you can. Um, but yeah, it's a bodysuit and it comes quite low down at the front and they do this in so many colours. And I can't sort of say how much better it looks on than off. I, like I said about my boobs with the bikini, I don't have the biggest boobs. But if you have seen my Instagram picture, my boobs look quite big with this top on. So it's really complimentary around the boob area. And I also have done a blog post so there's a lot more pictures and you can see properly what it looks like on with an outfit. And my blog will also be in the down by if you want to check that out because I don't know if a lot of you follow my blog but I really appreciate it if you do because I'm trying to get that up and started again. Also on my blog, not on my Instagram, I don't have a picture of this, um, I paired the body with this waistcoat and the colour of this is just amazing. So it's one of those sleeveless sort of waistcoats but it has this waterfall detailing at the front like a panel and it's just so com I don't know I can't say complimentary again I can't keep saying that it just looks amazing when it's on and then it's just got a little tie around the waist so you can fasten it up if you want to but I just love the colour of it and I love these when you know you can't think of anything to wear and you don't want to wear a coat it might be a little bit warm and these just sort of dress your outfit up a little bit more and they do again this in loads of different colours. The next thing I have is a jumpsuit and I was thinking about wearing this on the airplane when I go on holiday and I'm just thinking how comfy I'd be and how like relaxed I'd be. I couldn't think of the word then. 
but anyway yeah this is the jumpsuit and it's this really nice sort of pink color i don't know if it's going to pick it up on camera but we're like a brownie color going through it and it's just like this at the top cinches in at the waist and it's got like jogging bottom 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 trousers with the cuffed ankles and I can just imagine how comfy this is going to be even on like lazy days or even going shopping or something it'd look really nice and just with a pair of trainers it's going to be so comfy and I don't know if they do this in any other colours but I really liked this colour so I went for this one and I love it. And the last item I have is another pair of gym trousers and they are these ones off again the wear all website they've got a really high thick waistband which I like so if you wanted to wear them high waist with a little bit more of a crop top you can sort of tuck your belly in and if you don't want it to be hanging out you know at the gym or wherever running anything or you could fold the waistband over if your top's long enough and it's in this sort of i don't even know how to explain this pattern but it's black and white and they're like a gray color and they're so comfy i think they're only 10 pounds as well which is a bargain um and yeah they're gonna be perfect for the gym I, i've already worn them for the gym i wore them yesterday and I did have them on but I've literally just taken them off for this video so I now have no trousers on so best put those back on. And then I recently got a hat and it's from a company called BKLYN. I'm not 100% how you pronounce this but I like that it came in this fancy box and it wasn't just in packaging. And this is what it looks like again. I have done an Instagram picture with this on so you might have seen it already. But it's a really cute sort of baby blue colour with the pom-pom on top and I think there's a lot of these hats about with the pom-poms on and I just love the colour of this. I do have another one a little bit like this in a colour and I got it from River Island but I just think the colour of this is so cute and they do it in loads and loads of colours as well so they will be linked down below if you want to have a look at those. And the last item I have is actually a beauty item but I've completely forgot I even had this because it was in the bathroom and I've been using it and it's called Decorous Natural Skincare Coffee Skin skin scrub and i've seen a lot of these about to be honest but this one has orange in it now i absolutely hate coffee with a passion i don't like the drink i don't like drinking tea or coffee in fact i've never even drank them to be honest but i know i don't like them anyway i don't like the smell i don't like anything to do with coffee but this one it doesn't smell 100 percent of coffee because it's got that orange in as well it's really nice and i've seen a lot that these are good for cellulite on the back of your legs so I thought I'm definitely going to give it a try if that's going to work anything to help cellulite. So I've been using it and I don't know what it is but I've recently got a really bad rash on my legs and I am going to the doctors today because I don't know whether it's just an allergic, allergic reaction you know to the coffee scrub or if the coffee scrub's just not even related to it at all. But other than that I've really liked it my skin felt amazing afterwards and it was just a nice luxurious thing to take in the shower with me instead of just a normal scrub. So that's everything in my haul this time so i will leave all the links to every item i've mentioned down below if i can find them for you obviously primark ones i can't find also my instagram and blog will be down below and i'd love it if you followed those because i've mentioned those and my facebook page as well i sort of update when i'm putting my videos on and when my videos are live and everything like that so it'd be great if you like that as well and i might as well just throw my twitter in there as well Anna. <laughs> if you could follow all those for me that'd be great and thank you for watching everyone please give it a big thumbs up and i will see you in my next video bye